Hey everybody. So, uh, happy Cobb Tuesday. Got my uh, Missouri Meerschaum Washington. It's my dedicated cigar blend Cobb. That's a blend I haven't, I haven't really, or a category I haven't really been trying lately with 100 blends in 100 days. I don't really have a lot of those on that list because honestly, I, I, I've smoked thousands of cigars. I love cigars. Um, so almost any cigar blend pretty much hits home. But that wasn't what I was looking for. Tonight I got Billy Bud Blonde in there. Just kind of nice and smooth. Still get that taste. I'm kind of a cheap guy and <clears throat> Billy Bud Blonde is doesn't taste like a high-end cigar. Also, another reason to choose it, um, uh, a friend of mine, Donna Lee, uh, she loves cigar blends and she moved into, or is moving into a new place. Congratulations. Uh, I hope it goes really, really well and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So, got some packages. These aren't surprises. This is stuff I got for me. But this is stuff I got when uh, they had that 19% uh, off the whole site at Pipes and Cigars. Um, just to sort of round out some of the things I've been looking at. And once again, Pipes and Cigars has sent things in multiple bags, or multiple bags, boxes. So there's only two things in this, this whole box. We have something uh, I thought was curious to try. So we have Hearth and Home, Frenchies, Sons of Bitches. I really, part of me ordered that just so I could say that and be justified saying that. I guess I could say that anyway, whether or not I'm justified, but that, that feels nice. Yeah, just go ahead and say it with me. Frenchies, sons of bitches. Who doesn't want to try that blend? And then, got uh, Newminster 403 Superior Round. Um, I've been having a really good time with the sliced uh, blends, the ones that are coin cut. Although this one, not much of the coin is left once it's arrived. But there's, there's, it's like the bowls, of, the taste changes throughout the bowl as you burn, burn the different parts of the blend. And I've been enjoying that quite a bit. That's been cool. All right, so that's it for that one. And if this whole big box is for a couple of tins, I'm not going to be surprised. Pipes and cigars. Wants to be like Amazon and just waste space and cardboard and all the other materials involved. I'm sure there's some sort of efficiency calculation for this that justifies this. But uh, most of us would not pack things this way. It's like my kids have food. I gotta get better at watching my mouth. So once again, I don't know what this is. I have to check the packing ship or slip. This is Match Victorian because I was gonna put it up against a tin of Elizabethan. Here. And I also got my very first tin of Peterson Deluxe Navy Roll. Tin of University Flake. These are the ones that were on sale. I'm cheap, guys. And Peterson's Three Ps. The Peterson Perfect Plug. Another blend here, 
it just has another label. Ah, this is Hearth and Home's 10 to Midnight. Very rich, dark looking blend. And some pipe cleaners. The coupon code for cigars. So, that all could have been in one box. Must have separate warehouses or something. Got to. Um, so last night's video was was super serious, um, and I'm not super serious most of the time. So I'm gonna open up to a random page in the fart dictionary because Katie is not here, not feeling good, and I'd like to give you some entertainment other than. Another dude opening up a box of stuff that he paid for. Even my kids find that boring. So we are on letter E. In the fart dictionary. The first one here is the Eagle Scout fart. A fart emitted by a farter, held in high regard by his farting peers, primarily because of his reputation as a straight and self-reliant farter. I don't know anyone who meets that criteria. Let's go through a couple more. We have the Easter egg fart. A particularly nasty egg fragranced fart with a hint of smoked ham as it settles. At Thanksgiving? The Eastwood fart. A fart that makes your day. The Easy Mark Fart. A fart ejected onto unsuspecting victim. Most commonly the person next to you in bed or your dog. The Economic Stimulus Fart. Any fart that immediately sends you out to shop for new underwear. Last but not least, the elevator fart. One that causes your ears to pop. I have never experienced that. Fortunately, the rest of them I have, except the Eagle Scout fart, so there's a two out of six. As a diabetic, that's a, that's a fun side effect. If you know any other diabetics in your life who've been on some of the medication, um, and growing up my dad was a diabetic and I thought it was just him and every time he would blame his medicine I, I, uh, I always said no no that's you you're just you're just making stuff up and I just ignored it and ignored it and now I'm a diabetic living it uh, he wasn't lying this stuff's hard um I hope you guys had a great day. Uh, Katie, Katie's doing better today than she was yesterday. She's She went to work and, and everything else. She just a little run out today. She's still not feeling her best. So, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning for, a, uh, for another 100 blends in 100 days. Um, if you guys have any blends that you want to see, First or foremost in that, um, and you can let me know, and we can uh, we can get get to it, or or I guess you can wait and find out because we're only going to do a hundred of those, but we have because I apparently have Tad, we have over over a hundred blends, so there's some flexibility. Well, thanks guys. Um, have a good night, and uh, I hope that you, uh, I hope you get to do something that makes you happy, or be with someone who makes you happy, and I just hope that you're happy. Have a good one.